Hi friends, today we are going to see a small introduction on artificial intelligence and its types. So first, what is artificial intelligence? Artificial intelligence is a field in computer science which deals with replicating or giving fake human intelligence to a machine so that machine can carry the works assigned for human beings. So in simple terms, artificial intelligence means making a machine to think and process like a human being so that it can carry out our functions. So, why do we need artificial intelligence? Day to day, our work assigned to us is increasing and getting tougher. So in order to make work easier for human beings, we use artificial intelligence. We are trying to make a machine to function like a human being. So what are all the functions designed for AI to carry on? Some of the functions an AI can perform are learning, reasoning, problem solving and decision making. So our next question will be how we will um, make an AI work that is with what process an AI works. Artificial intelligence systems are powered by algorithms using techniques such as machine learning, deep learning and rules. Machine learning algorithms feed computer data to AI systems using statistical techniques to enable AI systems to learn. So with the help of algorithms, the computer data is fed to AI and statistical techniques allows AI system to learn the algorithms. So for an example of AI will be human-like robots. We have machine robots at present but still we did not attain that AI level in robotics to create a human robot. But researchers, scientists and technologists are working hard to bring to that level. So now let us see about the types of artificial intelligence. AI technologies are categorized by their capacity to mimic human characteristics. The technology they use to do this, their real world applications and the theory of mind. So these are the categories. So based on these characteristics, the AI is classified into three types. First one is artificial narrow intelligence. The second one is artificial general intelligence and the third one is artificial super intelligence. So first, let us see about artificial narrow intelligence. A and I is also referred to as weak AI or narrow AI. It is the only type of artificial intelligence we have successfully realized to date. Narrow AI is goal oriented which is designed to perform singular tasks. So these machines may seem intelligent but they work only under narrow constraints and limitations. So hence it is called as narrow or weak AI. Narrow AI does not simulate human behavior. So, so some of the examples you can see for artificial narrow intelligence are Siri by Apple, Alexa by Amazon, Cortana by Microsoft and other virtual assistants and then image or facial recognition software and uh, self-driving cars and etc. There are not more uh, artificial natural intelligence products coming up nowadays. Next, uh, we will see about artificial general intelligence. AGI is also referred to as strong AI or deep AI. It is the concept of machine with general intelligence that mimics human intelligence and all behaviors with the ability to learn and apply its intelligence to solve any problem. AGI can think, understand and act in a way that is indistinguishable from that of a human in any given situation. So artificial general intelligence has the ability to mimic human characteristics but our AI researchers and scientists have not yet achieved strong AI. So next type we are going to see is artificial super intelligence. AI ASI is the hypothetical AI that doesn't just mimic or understand human intelligence and behavior. ASI is where machines become self-aware and surpass the capacity of human intelligence and ability. Superintelligence has long been the muse of a dystopian science fiction in which robots overrun, overthrow and enslave humanity. So if artificial superintelligence is achieved then all our fiction films like Transformers will come into real life. You can see uh, cars running and jumping and uh, bursting themselves open. You can see in the real life itself. Well, I hope you all would have acquired a small general knowledge on artificial intelligence. Thank you for listening patiently and have a good day.